stars in the audience tonight, but there's some in particular that I'm really excited to meet. So now I'm gonna do a little something I like to call creeping up on the Kardashians. I'm a huge fan of you ladies. I have so many questions for you guys. I'm so happy for your success and weddings and babies and just straight pimping and getting that money. That's not on the teleprompter. That's just me. <laughs> like, do you remember that time you guys were on the cover of that magazine? It was so awesome. Remember that? And, 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 and all the time that you guys got into that fight and then you made up and then you got into a fight again. That was crazy. Y'all fighting right now? Oh, snap. Now, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. What about that time? What about the time when... Oh, wait a minute. When do you think you guys are going to make up again? We just did. We did. I like that. Okay. Cool. We can't stand her. And I told you that I couldn't stand her. What? Shut up. Kardashians. That's why I love them. Oh, my God. Kim, you remember that time when you had dated that one guy from that team and then they said that you broke up with him and then they found out y'all was never really dating. That was crazy. So crazy. People are crazy. Okay, Chloe. Oh, you hated me. Now you're touching me. But we already made Does the queen make you nervous? <laughs> I like it. They touch. They hate. They make up. They touch. They love. Family. So what's up, Chloe? Can I get some of them Laker tickets? <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's what fans do. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm such a big fan. You know, to present the next award, I gotta just gotta pass it off now, go back to work. Thanks, ladies, you look gorgeous. To present the thank ya, to present the next award, we have one lovable nerd from Big Bang Theory and the TV internet sensation from iCarly. It's like having my own personal genius bar on a stage. I'm gonna get some more information from the Kardashians, but I want you guys to give it up for Jim Parsons. 